Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's Jesse here, as you guys know. I just wanna thank you for being a part of my journey here on Earth. It's been such a pleasure being a human, and having a YouTube channel, and growing a business, and having all these things come together in my life that I've worked so hard towards, hard towards, hard towards, and having you along for the journey is such an amazing thing. Having you a part of my journey here on Earth, and so thank you, I appreciate it and thank you for being here. In my business, I use technology. I am a millennial, I am 27 years old, I'm in my sixth year of business. My company name is J Lane Construction, headquartered in Jacksonville, Florida. Today's Saturday, so I'm not wearing my any nice shirts or anything, but I'm gonna go buy a sleep number mattress, get some good sleep. They, they, they sense your heartbeat and they keep you cool at night and it's just like, ah, it's like anywhere I see that I can make my life better, I do that. It's so cool to find little things to just streamline the process. If my sleep's good, my life's good. But that's what I wanna talk about is how I use technology in my company. We use a software called Builder Trend and I've been using that ever since the beginning of my company. It's been game changing. I mean, we can make like all the Gantt schedules that we do, we have color coded for like electrical is always yellow for like Romex, you know? And then blue is always blue for like water, you know? And like gr green for HVAC and it's like drywall's gray and it's like, anyway, paint's cucumber, I don't know why, but that's the only color that we had left apparently but we line it all up and we have templates so it's like we used to sit there and build them manually but I'm like ha we can make a Gantt schedule template within Builder Trend, and then we just import that schedule for the new jobs we create and we do daily logs and photos and videos and pay applications all through there and we can import Excel sheets or Google Sheets into the, the pay applications and send right to the owner and everything's just like starting to really become a streamlined process which is which is literally my most favorite thing, my most favorite, which, which is literally my favorite thing to do is streamline processes. We use Slack now. We just got the whole team onto Slack. The superintendent used to like text the project manager and be like, okay, these are the job issues or this is what I'm working through or hey, this has been resolved or whatever it is. You know, we do daily logs to present to the owner and stuff like that through Builder Trend and we message them through Builder Trend. But anything internal we keep on Slack and it's just very streamlined because I can go and I can go to each channel for each project we have different channels for maybe other company topics that we want to talk about and I can go on there and see the communication that's been happening through slack you can do all the files and photos and reminders and there's all these slack apps you can have your calendar in there and team line and tasks and to do's and checklists and it's all just on slack so it's super 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 streamlined it's builder trend over here slack over here and there's so much more to like I so I see these contractors right like I know a lot of general contractors that they really like the smaller ones let's just say for example a couple people that I know um, have I talked to and they have such a hard time you know harnessing technology they're like man I can't even get my phone to make a phone call you know like what well, what's well, a text message you know and um, it's worked for them but, but has it really at the same time? Because most of those people that are like that are stuck like below the million dollar mark. And that's, that's a small company, you know? And, and so I think if you wanna get past the million dollar mark, get towards the $10 million mark, you need to, as far as gross sales revenue per year, you need to get on technology. You need to get on social media. You need to do all these things and I'm not a pro at it and I'm, I'm learning, but it's it's such a joy to learn so much because it, like even just like in your personal life with, you can literally go to your phone and just be like, you know, yo Siri, remind me to do this at this time. And I, have, I use Fantastical too, uh, is the app name and it lists all my actual calendar items, which I links to my Google calendar. So, but I can look at it all in Fantastical and then all of my reminders pop up Per day and if I don't complete the reminder it just rolls over to the next day until I check it off and I can move I can click into it and edit it and move it till next week or whatever I want to do if I want to do that but the point is we're so blessed and I I've actually teared up earlier this morning thinking about gratitude how grateful I am to be put on this earth on this time there's so much potential to what we as humans can do in business in our personal life in our relationships you know it's Technology, social media, you can look at it as, hey, it's really hurting society. I go onto social media, all I see is Donald Trump stuff and how the world's falling apart and the bad in the world. I think social media is just exposing the bad in the world. It's not creating the bad in the world. We're just able to see it all now. Back to my original point of the construction industry is the second slowest industry to conform and get up to speed. 
The first being the school system, but don't get me started on that. It's a hundred year old industry and they're stuck in the industrial age and we're in the te technology age. I mean, it's, it, there's two different realms of thinking. This is factory workers and this isn't. It's a whole nother realm of reality. But anyway, the, con the construction industry is slow to evolve and I'm excited to transform that as much as I know to do. But the key takeaways for this video would be check out any sort of project management software. If you are a construction business owner or you work for a construction company, definitely get a project management software. Get Slack or something that would get like the communication, internal communication on point with your team. Get uh, like Fantastical, which is a calendar app, and use Siri reminders and get your personal calendar on point so you can really think less about all these things and just, and just rely on the cloud-based technology to help you. And then use Amazon Prime all the time to just get things delivered straight to your door and anything else that you can streamline in your life, do that. So the biggest takeaway to this video is anything you can streamline in your life, take advantage of it. And always be thinking about how you can make it more efficient. It really helps if you'd like or dislike this video. Write a comment, subscribe if you're not, put the little bell notification on so when I upload you'll get notified because I know like a lot of you don't actually watch my videos but just wanted to reach out to you guys here on this beautiful Saturday day. I'm gonna go buy a mattress and I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully this was, this was fun and educational. See you next time. Peace.